<laughs> Coco and Shea Butter Kids. Preparing for liftoff in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Oh, <laughs> hey there, Coco Beans. Coco was just pretending to be an astronaut flying to outer space in my space shuttle. The frontier. Today we are going to explore some heroes of space. These are mathematicians, scientists, and astronauts that help us learn more about the mysteries of space and our own home planet Earth. Captain Johnson was not an astronaut but a mathematician. She used her love of numbers to help American astronauts take their very first trip to the moon and come back to planet Earth safely. Back in the 1950s, there were no computers to do math problems like today. Mathematicians had to solve really hard math problems using just their brains. These mathematicians were called computers. In the 1950s and 60s, people were still openly discriminated against or treated unfairly because of their skin color or gender. Catherine was discriminated because she was black and a woman. The black women who worked as computers had to work in a different area than the other human computers. Even though she was discriminated against and wasn't always treated fairly, Catherine still worked hard to solve math problems to help astronauts get to space and back home. Catherine's calculations are still used today in space flights. Keon Bluford, nicknamed Guy, did not grow up wanting to be an astronaut. In 1942, when he was born, astronauts didn't even exist. Before becoming an astronaut, Keon worked as an engineer and a fighter pilot. In 1983, Guillaume Bluford became the very first African-American to fly in space. He's flown over 2 million miles throughout space. Robert Henry Lawrence Jr. was a brave pilot. He flew his jet over 2,500 hours in the air. Wow, that's a lot of flying. In 1967, Lawrence became the very first African-American astronaut to be accepted in the U.S. space program. Unfortunately, that same year, Lawrence lost his life in a jet crash flown by another pilot, so he never had the chance to go to space. Ronald McNair always dreamed of becoming a doctor and an astronaut, and when he grew up, he did just that. He attended North Carolina A&T and earned a degree in physics. He later became a physicist and an astronaut. Ronald McNair also loved martial arts. He had a black belt in Taekwondo and taught kids karate. Ronald McNair became the second African-American astronaut to travel to space. Sadly, McNair is remembered as one of the six brave astronauts who lost their lives during the Space Shuttle Challenger accident in 1986. Mae Jemison was born in Alabama, but later moved to Chicago. As a young girl, Mae knew she wanted to travel to space, but she also had different interests or things that she liked to do. She was a very talented dancer and studied ballet, jazz, African, and even Japanese-style dance. May went to college at Stanford University and graduated with not one, but two degrees, one in chemical engineering and the other in African and African-American studies. May had to make a hard decision to either become a professional dancer or a doctor. She chose to be a doctor and traveled all over the world helping people in Cuba, Cambodia, and parts of East Africa. 
May looked up to Sally Ride, who was the first woman in space, and also Guillen Bilford, who was the first African American in space, and she decided to be an astronaut. In 1992, she and her crew orbited around the Earth on a shuttle called Endeavor 167 times. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. That made her the first black woman and the first African American woman to travel to space. Bernard Harris knew that he wanted to be an astronaut as a kid. After watching the famous Apollo 11 and seeing astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin become the first people to walk on the moon. Harris, who also became a medical doctor, private pilot, and scuba instructor, became an astronaut and took two trips to space. On his second trip, he became the first African American to take a spacewalk or walk in space. Stephanie Wilson is an engineer and astronaut. She is the second African-American woman to travel to space and has flown to space three times. She has spent 42 days in space, the most of any African-American woman. To date, there have been 15 black astronauts who have traveled to space and Victor Glover was the newest one. He spent six months in space and became the first African-American to stay the longest time in space. Did you know the first black astronaut to fly in outer space is a man named Arnando Tamayo Mendez. He was an Afro-Cuban astronaut who flew to space in 1978 with the Russian space program. Hey there, Cocoa Beans. Thanks for joining Coco for another episode, Exploring the Heroes of Space. Remember, heroes of space are brave, adventurous, super smart, and curious. And they can look just like you and me. These are mathematicians, scientists, and astronauts that help us learn all about the mysteries of space and our own home planet Earth. See you later, Cocoa Beans. Coco and Shea Butter Kids.